I'm going to refer to my troll as one of my trolls, unfortunately, not just my troll, it's a number of them. I refer to the troll presently effing with me, I refer to her as Large Marge. She's desperate to tie her shtick to mine. That's why I'm not going to mention her name. I'm not going to repeat myself on this person. I said I was going no contact about a month ago, and I messed up, and I should have just left it at that. I guess this is not no contact in some way. She's putting my full name into a title. I didn't watch it, and I don't really, I don't care. I've already been doxxed. I was already smeared in public. I was already harassed and smeared. It happened 10 years ago. I was on top of the zeitgeist a little bit. I had pull. I had reach back then. It might not look like it now. Back then, I made a dent. I was on the phone with Mark Singer from The New Yorker. He wrote the book on Brett Camberlin. This is a very similar situation, but we're 10 years later, and we're looking at a whole different social structure for Internet. I think I said what's going on in the last one. I said something about we were all herded into big tech places like Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, YouTube. And that was that. The days of, I don't know what those days were, but they seemed very wide open and expansive. So Large Marge, she's putting in my three names, the middle name too. She's trying to terrorize me, scare me. I don't know what she's trying to do, but what I'm going to do here is just point out, get it out of my system, that they're trying to spin me as Lee Harvey Oswald. I think that's what that is, because my names have the same consonants as a Lee Harvey Oswald. We all know Lee Harvey Oswald is the three-named, he's the ultimate example of the three-named redneck. I'm not a redneck, I'm whatever, I'm not going to get into uh, that sort of thing about Oswald, but and I made the point, these people, they make it personal, they go into the gutter, they have no conception, or it's their job to do this, because they're not getting views, no one believes them, only sock puppets and COINTELPRO co-workers believe them, or not believe them, but it's their job to present it as truth. Instead of allowing Large Marge to attach her shtick to mine, or anyone else, I just make my points and move on. What I see from this latest attempt is that I nailed it, that I'm nailing it more and more, that I put together the teleprompter idea a lot better. It took time, but I'm finally presenting it so that people can see that it's true. The other day I said I had another video from Sputnik. I never included it in that one on uh, Jamal and Shane. It's early in the morning here. I don't have tardy dyskinesia. Large Marge. She flips the image because her face tweaks out. She can't even sing. She wasn't singing. I was singing first. It's obvious that this person has been hired to harass me. And that's what happened a, a few months back. I only mentioned Brisson, though, because these other people, uh, this woman, I don't know, she's a, not, a nobody. She's desperate, like I said before, she's desperate to establish herself. She's no Aunt BB. She called up Tim Black. I think I included that a month ago or something. She called up Tim Black. Tim didn't even acknowledge her, really. I don't think they mention her name. It's it's just weird. High weirdness. Tim Black working with her during those combo couch early days. I did hear Pasta Face say something about how early on when they first emerged, how he was being harassed immediately by someone mentally ill. So I think we know who he was referring to. This person can't hide it. She harasses teenagers within her condo. I'll leave it at that, because she's unhinged. She's the classic narcissist harasser. She's just another example of what happens to the face if people don't live, at least make an effort to keep someone clean. You gotta do a lot of, you gotta be quite out there with 
booze and pills or 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 whatnot, whatever, to make a face deteriorate like that to the point in which people flip the screen because when the jaw shifts, just somehow, I'm no biologist, I'm no scientist. I am a savant though. I've got Asperger's, the uh, the high IQ type thing. I already went through all that. It's the right side of the jaw that does that. You can look at all these people. It's the same thing with the eyebrows. Now, different things can make the eyebrows do that. I came up with that clip on the Asian doctor who's talking about how all these various things can do it. Coffee. You know, he, he talked about twitching. He referred to it as twitching. He didn't say tardy dyskinesia. What I do as an Aspie is I'm able to focus in on what interests me. I did that with Brett Kimberlin and Raw Story and Brad Blog, Daily Cost, all that garbage back then. I got memories. There was stuff called Netficates. I like to put up that screenshot of the Blog Army. They were called Vantage Consultants. That's not a Photoshop. That's a real photo. That was a real company that got busted, exposed around the same time as Netficates. There was another one. There were more, but I... I'm not really remembering all that much the exactness of it. I'm not that kind of savant. I don't need internet. I feel that I've accomplished enough where I could say, Aha, yeah, I lived out a life and I could think for myself. I came up with some original ideas. I came to awareness of the body and the mind and reality, all this. I'm not some clown who showed up two years ago. All those people showed up in the last year, two or three years ago. That's not me. I've been around the whole freaking time. Maybe not 2000. It took me a little while to get herded into the internet. I resisted this garbage. I did. My final push was Cyber Sleuth and Brett Kimberlin. It was great stuff. No one knew who he was until... Well, people knew who he was, but it wasn't really out there on the internet. I made it happen. There's a reason why these people are dogging me. Because I updated my shtick. And what I did to the Brad blog, Daily Cost, Larissa Alexandrovna, the Kimberlin, the Rala, all that stuff. And beyond that stuff, I did it again. I linked it all. I linked Goodman. Just look at Goodman and Melvin Goodman. I was right on that. I'm right on them reading all these groups being all associated. Their faces are all tweaking out. They show all the signs of being confidential informants. So I did it again. I recycled. I reburked my shtick from the past. I don't talk about my private life too much. I, I do, I suppose, in a way, if I mention stamps or... I do tell a lot about myself. I reveal a lot. I let myself out of the box here. I sing. I sing out loud. I mean, um, I wish I'd say um less. I'll just say uh, one more thing to wrap this up. I do have a small clip that I just located on Jamal. We'll watch him clearly reading off of the monitor. I won't live stream it, but just look for how the computer he's making it seem, the monitor he's making it seem he's reading off of, is too far to his right. And he's not looking at it. So these people think we're stupid. Not only do they think we're stupid, they think because they're uh, in control of everything that even if we're not stupid, there's nothing we can do about it. This is how the world works, according to them. But I'll just say for one last point, I'm a late bloomer. That's the point. I'm a late bloomer. Anyone out there who feels shy or, or feels nervous, awkward, this or that from the Asperger's, or if you're undiagnosed uh, and you might have Asperger's, you just got to keep you cool somehow. That's all I'm going to say about it. I will say that I was a late bloomer, that I had some tough breaks, that I was always too sensitive, but I did somehow find someone. I went from the lowest of lows at the peak of that Cameron thing, like 2011 ish. 2012, but in 2012, I think I, I finally broke free from it. It transferred, it, it uh, transmuted into more of a uh, Breitbart thing versus Daily Cause. 
rather than the liberal fella they referred to me as. But since then, since 2011, since my lowest days, I finally met someone. I've been with the same person for 10 years. It's possible. You can be awkward, this or that. It can still happen. You can find someone who will accept you, who loves you, etc., so forth and whatnot. So I, uh, I find a way to get by. I don't let the cyber smears. I got over the cyber smears. I'm not the one with man hands. This person, this large marge, is trying to get me back into this kind of chaotic narcissist. Sorry, man. I was watching this woman uh, a little bit, Dana R. Curry. I haven't been watching her lately. Uh, I just can't relate to it anymore. But that's where this large marge fits in. And a lot of people, harassers, they're narcissists. Dana talked about flying monkeys. There's a certain terminology to it. I'm out of that loop now. I just found a way to get beyond it, to leave it, to let it go. So this person, she's desperate. They were all desperate. Adrian Lamo, Lee Stranahan. I was harassed by them all. Brandon Darby harassed me. All those people harassed me. I don't care. You can't. You can't be harassed. You can't be killed twice. Your ego can't be killed twice. You can't be attacked twice. I do believe in the no contact rule, and that's why I'm using the large marge for this one video. But I'm, all, I'm not a doormat, so I am making this video. I will clean this up, edit, and upload this. But I will not give that person the satisfaction of latching onto my shtick. She can't sing. She's a nut job in conflict with teenagers. She makes fun of homeless people. She talks about having a rage when she's the absolute most nobody of them all. She's got no academic background that's related. She's like any of these other people with nothing, no gravitas, gravitas, no, no, no proof, no nothing to represent why anyone should care about one word she says. And in fact, beyond the irrelevance of her shtick and her presence on the internet, it's actually better to not watch her, to not care, to have nothing to do with Ms. Manhattan. With, uh, some people are just mean to the bone. Some are paid to be mean to the bone. So sometimes you don't know, they're not really doing it personally. And sometimes you can get someone, old, it'll get personal. This, I imagine, is a job to this individual. And I'm just making this video because I'm not a doormat. I speak truth to power. I can do that. That's all I was doing. I studied. I went from high school right into college. And I, I mean, I've got education to the yin yang. And that person worked in a data center. And she's tied to nothing but convolution. She reverses a screen. Just, uh, I've said enough. That's my new catchphrase. I've said enough. But I did find that one clip to, to add in here. I think this person, in conclusion, large marge harassing me is circumstantial evidence that I nailed it and that I'm nailing it more and more. But that there's nowhere to go with it is my other conclusion. So it doesn't matter. They don't control me. I will continue or stop or I'll do whatever I want. They do not have any influence on me beyond a perhaps a knee jerk, like this is a knee jerk video I'm making right here. But I'm making it, I'm getting it out of my system, and that's that. That's it. Thank you.